President Trump swimming outside his lane. A convention of black journalists is not the natural operating environment for any Republican, especially so for one who's so good old boy he makes Boss Hogg from the Dukes of Hazard look woke. Fight for the American mountains, the American valleys, and the green American hills are home. Donald Trump doesn't do convention, so he accepted the invitation to address the National Association of Black Journalists. And a few minutes after defying convention, he insulted the convention. See. Deciding that appearing in front of a thousand already sceptical black reporters was the perfect time to question the blackness of presidential rival Kamala Harris. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? Who he claims turned. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black and now she wants to be known as black. Oh. Shockingly, his rationale fell a little flat. What he just said, what you just read out to me, is repulsive, it's insulting. Harris has never had a problem or a hint of self-doubt on this issue. She's happily identified as both black and South Asian. A little from column A, a little from column B. But Donald viewed this as an appalling example of racial equivocation. Are you with ABC? Because I think they're a fake news network, a terrible network. If I was Donald Trump, I would not be talking about skin colour. I know, this is a guy whose skin tone changes from being so white he's almost translucent. I can see right through you. Kind of happens when you don't have any skin. <laughs> to a hue that would qualify him to work as a foreman at Willy Wonka's factory. Oompa, loompa, doompa dee doo. Donald, whose court records prove he's a true conviction politician, went on to demonstrate that talent dysmorphia is a thing. Rain dance! Declaring to the National Association of Black Journalists that he had been the best president for black people since Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Oh, he didn't! Big call even for the Donald. Nervous time for the Republicans. The party had been challenging the Democrats' traditional domination here by appealing to young black men who were sick and tired of being led by an old white man who was sick and tired. I knew you were still there. You're not going anywhere, Joe. Oh, I'm watching you, kid. <laughs> I'm watching you, kid. The Democrats have arrested that momentum and have started building their own, raising 300 mil in one week and unveiling a snappy slogan. Stop shit-talking, America! Thereby reducing the clash of ideas in the fight for the future of the world's greatest democracy to two four-letter acronyms. While America weighs up SSTA or MAGA, the rest of the world thinks FFS. For f sake. I'm Ben Harvey.